Good morning, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Yeshua. I just had to come on and share this. Um, I'm at work, and um, I'm I'm kind of in a shock because I think it's Second Peter three three. I just looked it up because I knew you know scoffers and mockers. Um, Second Peter three three in the last days, you know, it says not to the exact words, but it says something about um, in the last days people will mock, you know, and and um, and follow after their own lusts, and um, and you know, and and I've always heard that verse, you know, but. I never, you know, I've heard predictions back in 87, I, you know, in the past two or three years, you know, I've heard that he's coming back on, you know, the fall feast of trumpets, and then I've heard that, you know, and I do, my personal belief, I do believe he's going to fulfill the fall feast, you know, and he's coming back, you know, uh, the feast of trumpets, you know, but then there's people, and, and a part of me, you know, no one knows the day or the hour, you know, and a part of me hopes for and wonders if it could be next week on Yom Kippur. You know, but we don't know. But the important thing is we just need to be ready. But anyhow, getting back to what, you know, I've heard people predict dates and, you know, people in passing would talk about it and say, wow, you know, it, you know, they're saying this, you know. But for the first time in my life, two people uh, were mocking and laughing about it. And it just, it hit me, and I just, I had to come outside, take me a break, you know, because I'm, I'm in the process of repenting. I had, you know, having to, I had picked up cigarettes again, and got bronchitis, you know, so that's my chastisement, I feel, and I, you know, I don't know why, you know, my excuse was stress, but it was just giving into the flesh, you know, but I want to overcome this flesh. I want to be ready, and I'm, I'm not perfect. I got things I'm working on. I'm like, Lord, just please count me worthy, you know, uh, look at my heart, look at my efforts, and count me worthy, because I really want to be an overcomer. I, I don't, I want to be counted worthy to go whenever it is. And I'm not perfect, believe me, I'm not. And I've still got a lot of areas I am working on. The Lord is working with me, you know. But if it does come, you know, next week, you know. But anyhow, I did give up the cigarettes. Thank you, Jesus. And I am never going back because I got bronchitis and I'm ha had had it. I'm healed of it in the name of Jesus, though. But I've had it since last uh, Monday, so, no Saturday. But I went to the doctor Monday, got antibiotics, and then during um, I was homesick and. You know, did my best to participate in the fall feast of uh, Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, and um, was home all day, spent the whole day in the Word, praising the Lord, and I really f feel, you know, I've, I've never done a fast of food, but I've wanted to, I just never have done that in fear of, I wouldn't do it properly, and, you know, so I did a fast of social media from for that day from 6 until 6. And uh, from Facebook, um, games, uh, emails, you know, listening to YouTube videos, um, messages and stuff. And I fasted from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And, you know, for the breakthrough of the bondage over the cigarettes. And I do feel like, you know, that it's done. Thank you, Jesus. But I've got some other areas I'm working on, too. But anyhow... Back to the scoffers and the mockers. I was so shocked because I was just upstairs at my job, and one of my coworkers, I thought she said what she said, and she's going on vacation next week. And I've been out sick a lot this past week, but I came back today. I'm feeling a lot better, but I still sound kind of croaky, so forgive my voice. But she, uh, she said, hey, Michelle, you know, uh, Jesus is coming next week. So I thought I heard her say Jesus, but she had been preparing me all morning, you know, for what to do while she's gone. So I thought she was saying somebody else's name, and I thought I heard Jesus, you know. And I, so I said, I said, did you say Jesus is coming next week? And she said, and she come out of her office, and she was laughing. She said, yeah. And she said, yeah, they got it going around that Jesus is coming back next week. And before I could even respond, another co-worker's walking up the hall, and she interjects her comment, and she's laugh, you know, kind of mocking, and said, well, if that's the case, I better make sure I get my clothes out of the dry cleaners, you know, before next week. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, 
really? You know, and I never did. Someone else came by and, and changed the subject, asking where somebody was at. And I was just waiting for it to go back to it, and it never did. And I feel like I should have said something, but, I mean, I'm not ashamed. If, if they were to ask me, you know, I would definitely, uh, you know, if they asked my opinion, I'd, I'd tell them like I'm telling y'all, you know. We shouldn't mock or scoff, because he very well could come back next week. You know, and I would rather be out of respect, you know, and, and be ready, you know, and, and and pray that I'm ready and that, and it just, it, it just really hit me. You know, I was like, wow, two people were actually mocking about it and laughing about it. And I mean, I've never, ever in my whole life through other predictions have come across somebody actually giggling and laughing, you know, like... Uh, you know, I mean, you could tell they they just don't believe it. And it may not happen. I'm not saying it is. But the Bible says in 2 Peter 3, 3, I believe it is. Um, Lord, I hope I got that scripture right. Um, 2 Peter 3, 3, I believe it says, In the last days, you know, there will be scoffers and mockers following after their own lust. I just, I want to be following after him, you know, making sure I am doing the best I can to live for him. And, you know, I I just, I want to be counted worthy. But I just had to share that because it just really, it really struck with me. And, um, but it very well could be next week. So we do need to prepare our hearts just in case, you know, and stay on that path, you know. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that and get it off my chest. I hope y'all are having a blessed day today. Love you guys. And, um, if it does happen, I'll see you next week. All right, bye.